On September 9, 2023, the United States Navy announced that it had achieved initial operational capability for the MQ-4C Triton unmanned aerial system. This accomplishment was followed by the successful assembly of the first orbit, a cluster of four systems working collaboratively to maintain continuous surveillance over a designated oceanic area. A second orbit is scheduled for delivery later in 2023. Often hailed as the U.S. Navy's largest unmanned aerial vehicle, let's take a closer look at the MQ-4C Triton. The MQ-4C Triton is a high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aircraft, developed by Northrop Grumman for the United States Navy. It was designed to support maritime surveillance and reconnaissance missions as part of the Broad Area Maritime Surveillance Program established in 2008. Its functions include providing real-time intelligence, conducting surveillance and reconnaissance over vast ocean and coastal regions, continuous maritime monitoring, search and rescue operations, and complementing the capabilities of the Boeing P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. Derived from the well-known Global Hawk UAV, the Triton is often described as a navalized version of the Global Hawk, adapted with specific internal and external changes to suit the roles of maritime patrol, surveillance and intelligence. Onboard systems include a multifunction active sensor, electronically steered array radar suite with a 360-degree traversing capability, and a nose-mounted electro-optical infrared video turret, developed by Raytheon. One distinctive feature of the MQ-4C is its VHF-based identification system, enabling real-time identification of the positions of maritime vessels. In terms of its external design, the MQ-4C closely resembles the original RQ-4 Global Hawk UAV, but it features a distinctive bulged belly housing the radar array and a small chin protrusion for the visual tracking system. Notably, the engine inlet is shielded with titanium, and its wingspan measures 39.9 meters, which is longer than the Global Hawk's wingspan of 35 meters. These adaptations in external design are made to enhance the MQ-4C's structural integrity and suitability for extended over-water flights. The Triton, operated by a team of four from a ground station, has a length of about 14.5 meters and a height of around 4.7 meters. Weighing over 6,700 kilograms, the Triton has a capacity to carry a payload of up to 14,650 kilograms. It can attain altitudes exceeding 15,000 meters and has an operational range of approximately 15,200 kilometers, thanks to its Rolls-Royce AE3007 series turbofan engine. The Triton can remain airborne for more than 24 hours at a stretch, allowing for uninterrupted sorties that could theoretically span weeks. Unlike smaller UAVs like the Predator and Reaper, the Triton is not armed beyond its suite of sophisticated sensors, cameras, and communication equipment. Together with the ground control station operated by a team of four personnel, it forms the Triton unmanned aircraft system. The Triton program's primary aim is to offer the U.S. Navy an adaptable, multi-role UAV solution, relieving pilots of mission roles and phasing out complex, aging, and costly to maintain aircraft. However, the reality presents some challenges. While the exact cost of the Triton remains undisclosed, estimates indicate that a single system can reach a price tag of up to $140 million, making it a relatively expensive platform. To put this in perspective, a single F-35A multi-role fighter costs half as much. The Navy's program envisions a fleet of 68 aircraft, yet as of June 2023, Northrop Grumman has only delivered five Triton systems, following extensive program delays. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. To stay updated on the Triton's development, make sure to subscribe to Defense Central.